it's a great day for a drive, especially in this 2017 F-150 Lariat in gray. It has black interior seating for five, four doors and a five and a half foot box. This has a 3.5 liter V6 engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four by four. It also has the FX4 off-road package, which includes skid plates. It's got a nice spray and liner, power tailgate, navigation, twin panel moonroof, as well as a power sliding rear window and many more features. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four by four. Let's have a look inside. Speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. You also have memory for three drivers, and both driver and passenger seat are powered with lumbar. You have power deployed running boards down below there, and you also have off to the side here power pedals, lighting controls, LED side view mirror spotlights, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, and there's also a grab handle just making it easier to get in. And then on the face of the steering wheel is our dash controls, cruise control volume and menu and you also have your hands-free dialing and this is a push start so my foot's on the brake keys in the pocket and we're going to push the engine start stop button on any screen that's coming up here you've got your odometer reading any important messages and your menu so we can go through that and so we've got my view trip fuel truck info towing off-road and settings and they all have sub menus. And in there, in the settings, in the advanced settings, you can go in and change your power deployed running boards to stay tucked under, to come out automatically when you approach, and to stay out. In the center, we have the Sony badging for your audio system and a little bin, hill descent, traction control, hazard lights, auto stop start for less idle time. And we've got our camera view. Now, I'm not in any gear. This is just pushing the button so that I can see ahead. And then here we are in space because you have the 360 camera here and then just press that again and you've got your other view closer up and then there's a split view and then we're back around again now right now you're seeing the dark menu and that is because it is on night and i'm going to show you how to change that so first we're going to go into sources am fm series satellite radio cd and bluetooth and in your climate you're going to see that you have dual climate control as well as a heated steering wheel you've got your ac in there as well so you can control your your temperature here but you can also control it down below so you have some options we've got navigation your map's going to come up and then you choose your destination. So when we go into settings, we can actually change the look of our display screen. So you have the different options in here. You're seeing Bluetooth, navigation, general, and we're gonna go into display. And when we go in there, we can change the brightness and we can change the mode. So we can go to day and there you go. Now it's brightened right up. So depending on the time of day, you might wanna change the look of your screen by lighting, lightening and darkening it if you want. And there's your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto as well. So you just slide through for your options, ambient lighting, and you just touch on it and you can choose what you wanna do. Volume and tuner, and your CD player, and you've got the dual climate control, heated and cooled seats, your fans in the center, AC and max AC, as well as your front and rear defrost. Down below in the cubby, you've got a couple of USB outlets and you're seeing the ambient lighting that's that light blue. And we can press in the center here and it will, Oops, there we go. It'll close right up for us. And then we have an automatic select shifter. We have tow haul and sport, and that'll appear beside the shift gears. So you're seeing it to the right there, beside the M, tow haul, and then S for sport, and then off again. And then you've got a couple of cup holders. The ambient lighting is the rings that are there, and that'll light up. And then you've got your lane keeping as, or sorry, your and your park assist. That's lane keeping and your park assist. And then down in the armrest, you've got a little bin. Down below, you've got a 12 volt, lots of room to put things. So you can put things out of sight and keep them safe. And you've got your 12 volt and your 110, your glove compartments locking, grab handle in the body, auto dimming rear view mirror, lighting controls, sunglass holder, universal garage door opener, and you have a power sliding window in the rear. And that's what that's for. And we have our twin panel moonroof. Now it's a little bit wet, so I am not going to open it up, but the moonroof goes to about here. The back glass is fixed and you also have a power screen right in the back there and that'll stop at any point for you as you've got this closed so you can control light and air. 20 inch wheels, mud flaps, power deployed running board. 
multi colored door handle with intelligent access. That means when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors and keyless entry keypad. Driver's side, catalyst, easy fuel gas filler. We have X4 off road badging on the side here, and that indicates that it also has skid plates. The backup cameras located just below the handle, LED light to the right, backup sensors on the bumper four and seven pin connector, trailer hitch, and a locking spare tire. When you're ready to open up that tailgate, you simply double click your fob. It'll power it down for you. You've got this nice spray and liner, tie downs in all four corners, as well as box link. And you also have a tailgate step. You just pull this out and you see that yellow button that creates a handle when you pull it out, giving you a bit of stability, getting in and out of the box. And then when you're ready, just close it up, lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Charging speaker in the door, as well as power windows, grab handle in the body, and seating for three with a 60-40 split. Simply lift the seat with one hand, it's in the upright position. You've got this nice all-weather mat on the floor, plus carpeted mats. And then to bring the seat down, simply pull the clip. There's anchors at the base to be able to tether baby seats, and you have an armrest with a couple of cup holders. On the back of the front seats are slim pockets, and in the middle are a couple of cup holders there. As well, you have a 12 volt and USB outlets, 110, heated seats for the back seats here, air vents, up top a nice twin panel moonroof, lighting and hooks, and in the back access to a power sliding window with rear defrost. Body colored bumper, five and a half foot sprayed in line box, mud flaps, privacy glass in the back windows, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, LED headlights, fog lights, tow hooks, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.